everybody. Welcome to Big E's Auto. <clears throat> I'm obviously Big E. We're on our way to the trailer. Finally got the hub off for the harmonic balancer, which was a pain and a half. I went through two pullers. And then what I had to do with the puller I had as I was getting tension on, I tapped it lightly with a ball peen hammer and it helped it come loose and it came out straight. So hopefully that fixes it. So let me get my position here. I'm kind of disappointed because what I'm about to show you is stupid. Okay, so I don't know. I'm trying to set this up. I'm going to... You see here, there's these three bolts here for the cam. I only finger tightened these, but when I took it apart, let me see if I can do replicate what I found. Uh. <clears throat> anyway, these three cam bolts here, did you see? Were loose. You can see how it is with two. I don't know if you can see that play. So that's what happened. These bolts came loose. Now I didn't have a time to check it, but it looks like it's still in time. Okay. I don't know. Let me see. Can you see? Let me get light up here. Sorry for my. There's a timing mark here and there. And they're still lined up. So, I was hoping it would be something really cool I could show you guys, but obviously not. The bolts came loose, the engine's still in time. So now, I'm wondering if the cylinder heads even need to be sent out. I don't know. Uh, I found out in my ignorance there is no cam button because the cam button, if you look should be placed here but there's a geared thing where the OptiSpark gets its timing indexing from that's where the OptiSpark gets driven off of is the cam gear so i want to make some phone calls this might be better than i think uh, i want to call my cylinder head guy and ask him and my fabric obviously tom golan my fabricator guy too get their opinion this might just be a, a situation of some Loctite, put the motor back together, send the torque converter out, put this thing back together, plop, you know, put it back in, set it up. We might be out this year yet, which would be totally cool with me. But we'll see. I'm not going to make any predictions. I did that before, and I was so, so, so wrong uh, in left field with stuff. So I just want to... Catch you guys up to speed. It's the three bolts that hold the cam gear of the timing chain set to the cam loosened up. So I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna. I want to double check that that uh, Loctite works in oily conditions. Hopefully it does. If it does, obviously, I want to put the red stuff in. If not, uh, I may even ask if you if I can tack weld them bastards in or do something uh, to keep them from vibrating out again. Because, uh, obviously, no bueno on that. Um, so, anyway, um, so that's kind of where we're at right now is, you know, checking these out. You know, tighten those up. I'm going to look in the book, too, to double-check torque, torque and, and, and other things. Uh, like I said, I'm going to have to wait till Monday uh, to talk to my fabricator guy. But all in all, looks like a lot of bullshit to go through for something this simple. But I'm going to double-check everything this time and make triply sure that everything is good. Um, I want to get a... Uh, I don't know if I mentioned before, I want to get a standalone knock sensor for this motor. Uh, there's something with the timing I want to try. Um, but as usual, whenever you try to mess around with timing, you've got to check for detonation. So that's why I want to put a knock sensor on and see if we can tune this thing up. Turn, turn the wick up on this thing a little more once we get it running. 
Uh, so I'm kind of stoked because it looks like it might be okay. I'm not 100% sure. We may just get away with just putting, you know, cleaning off the mating surfaces on the head and putting them back on. I'm wondering if that ear leak was I didn't have the nuts backed off far enough on the rocker arms. I don't know. Uh, but we'll see. Because um, I looked at the heads. I don't see any contact made between the... Um, like, usually you'll see a mark on the head of the valve where the piston made contact, and I don't see any of that. So, um, I may, like I said, I'm going to talk to Jason, uh, the, the cylinder head guy, and uh, he may just want to look at him, take him apart just to make doubly sure, which is fine. Um, but it hopefully won't be as expensive if there's busted up stuff, and it doesn't seem that way. And now that I see the timing gear is in time, um, I'm even more positive that maybe we could possibly get this thing up and ro rolling uh, sooner than later. Uh, so anyway, I uh, just want to touch base with you guys, keep you guys in the loop. Um, <clears throat> so that's kind of where we're at. Um, I might, I have to see what else I can do in the meantime as far as uh, racing wise and stuff. Because I still want to get out there and make some passes, even if it's not with the turd. Um, see if I can get another ride. Uh, so, anyway, that's it for now. Uh, that's just an update. Um, so, like and subscribe, um, comment. Um, that's all I got for today. All right? So watch out for each other. Take care of each other. We'll see you right here next time on Biggie's Auto. Bye for now.